Good morning, Cardinals. Today, we are going to count by 10 up to 100. We've counted by 10 before when we've been doing our morning message in the classroom on the calendar. We've counted by 10 with our songs. Today, we're going to use Rack and Rack, and we're going to use our 10 frames to help us count by 10, the Say 10 way and the regular counting way. Before we begin that, let's do some fluency practice. We practiced counting things in a circle. We're going to count how many stars and write the team number. When we count in a circle, remember we mark where we start. We touch one and count until we get to the end, then we stop. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, stop. How many stars do we have? Thirteen. Remember, we write the ten first as just the one because the three hides the zero. Thirteen, ten, three. Mark where we start. Count the stars with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Stop. How many stars are there? Fifteen. Put your finger in the air and write the number fifteen. Does the one mean one? No way, Miss McKay. The one means 10. Good job. Last one. Let's count the stars in the circle. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, stop. How many? There was one more. One more than 15 was 16. Excellent counting cardinals. Now let's practice counting how many are in the circle. We don't have enough to make 14. Let's count how many hearts we see and then how many more we need to make 14. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do we have 14 hearts? No way, Miss McKay. We have 11, so let's draw more to make 14. One more than 11, 12, 13, 14. Great job. We have 14 parts. How many sons are we supposed to have? 12. Let's count to see how many sons we have and then how many more we need to make 12. Ready? Count. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many do we need? Two more. Eleven, twelve. Let's count the moons. How many moons should we need? Fifteen. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many do we need to make fifteen? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We needed three more moons to make fifteen. Let's count our lightning bolts. How many lightning bolts do we need? 
17. Let's count how many we have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's draw more to make seventeen. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Great job making your teen numbers, Cardinals. And now we're going to use our hide zero cards to make our amounts. First we'll say the say 10 way, then we'll hide the zero to make the teen number. If I say 10, seven, 17, 10, six, 16, 10, 5, 15. Great job playing hide the zero. Now let's look at our application problem. This is where you have to make sure that you're a super mathematician magician and use your problem solving skills to help us answer questions and solve our problem. Let's read our story together. Mr. Perry is decorating donuts. He puts 14 little dots of chocolate in rows. Stop. Did you hear something important? Yes, 14 little dots of chocolate in rows. Show him an idea about how to put the 14 dots on a circle, in a circle on his donut. <clears throat> well, how can we put 14 dots in a circle? Yes, we can just put the dots starting at the top and count. We would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. 14 dots in a circle. Can we make a number bond to show his 14 dots? What would the whole amount be? <clears throat> the whole amount is 14. What are the two parts? Thinking about your hide zero cards. Does the one mean one? No, the one means 10. What's the other part? Four. Ten, four, fourteen. Great job, Cardinals. Kiss your brains. Now let's think about our learning target today. I can count by tens to 100, the say 10 way and the regular counting way. If I had one group on my rec and rec, I know that I have five and five. How many beats are on one line of the rec and rec? 10. If I'm going to count my groups of 10, I have to count by 10, just like we do on the calendar. So we would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and one more. Just one second, Cardinals. Makes 100. Let's count our wreck and wreck. Again, ready, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Can you go backward? 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Excellent job counting your wreck and wreck all the way to 100. Let's count 
are 10 frames by 10s. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How would I count this if I did it the same 10 way? 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10. 10 tens is 100. That was excellent counting. Kiss your brains. Now let's see our 10 groups and write in the correct amount using the pattern of going up by 10. If I saw here, this was 10, 20, what comes next? 30, 40, 50, then how many? 60, then 70, 80. Great job, Cardinals. I apologize for my handwriting. It is hard to write on the computer. Now let's look counting the say 10 way. Our puppy dog is at the top of the stairs. He wants to get all the way to the bottom. How can I get my puppy dog up and down the stairs? If he was at 100, he would say 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. How did your puppy dog get down the stairs? He counted backward from 10. Now let's think. If he wanted to get back up the stairs, he would start at zero. Then he would go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's count the say 10 way. If I had 10, 20 would be two tens, three tens, four tens, return sweep, five tens, six tens, seven tens, oops, sorry, eight tens, how far would he get if he stopped at eight tens? Yes, he would get here, up to 80. Does that get him to the top of the stairs? No, but that's okay. How would your picture of the stairs be different if we were counting by ones instead of counting by tens? Yes, they would be much longer stairs. There would be 100 hundred stairs. What kinds of things could we count by tens? Hmm. Let me think. Ooh, maybe I could count jelly beans by tens. Maybe I could find pennies and count pennies by tens. Maybe I could count macaroni by tens. Why is it helpful to count by tens? It is a faster way to count. Putting things into group of tens and counting that way is faster. I want you to think of some ways that you can practice at home counting by tens. You did such a great job today counting by tens, Cardinals. Try to click on our videos for our count by ten songs. I am proud of you. Kiss your brains.